this is my camp here in the forest, Kamakura. You see I have my food up there. Tanukis visited my camp last night. They're a, a kind of raccoon dog. And obviously they could smell the food. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. It gets dark at about 6.30 at night. Light at about 5. This is what I'm sleeping on. It's a hole in. And I'm going to sleep in my sleeping bag. My wet weather gear as well. I have this torch just in case I need to scare anything away in the night. And that's my camp set up. So I'm off into town and continue riding today south. Hello, um, I'm here in Kamakura in Japan. I cycled from Yokohama yesterday and um, this is a cool little town, it's a little beach side town. I'm right beside the main road here. There's a beach out here. It's like a little resort. There's lots of temples in town. And there are mountains really close by. So last night I went hiking in the mountains. I hiked about two kilometers up into the forest. And then I camped there last night. Which was really cool. There's a lot of shrines and caves. Uh, also, Today, I got my first parking ticket here in Japan on my bicycle. So I have no idea what it said. I went to the bike shop and I asked a guy at the bike shop, he spoke English. He translated it as a, a warning. So that was a warning for parking my bicycle in the wrong place. Um, I guess I take it pretty seriously. There's lots of bicycle parking places. They all charge, unless you park it outside a convenience store, which I do sometimes. And, um, yeah, so tonight I'm going to sleep in the forest again. There's no manga kisses in this town, or I haven't found any. And tomorrow I'll carry on, and I'll go to Fujisawa. The, the, the sun's coming out, it's been really cold here. It's supposed to get down to 7 degrees tonight, so I'll be wearing all my warm clothing. Uh, I'll show you the modification that I've done on this bike. Just put an extra carrier on the back there. And this old carrier here is from off an old Mamachari. I found a whole bunch of uh, broken down uh, bicycles. They were underneath the flyover um, when I was cycling by the port coming out of Tokyo, uh, out of Yokohama. And someone had actually pulled the pieces apart, obviously, so they could dump them easier but that worked out really well for me I could just take this carrier and put it on here and I just put it on with wire that I found as well okay, so it's wired on just to hold my food and I was gonna buy a carrier but the, it was 1500 yen so I saved myself some money this is quite spectacular along here I'm cycling along the waterfront here in Kanagawa prefecture and I've left Kamakura and I made a real long video but my camera's crashing so it wiped it all it'll probably happen again I might take a rest and have something to eat this is a loaf of typical loaf of bread in Japan and it's like a half loaf of bread anywhere else in the world and this is this is 100 yen 108 yen with tax I don't know why they do that, but that will make four sandwiches and then to that I add some salami or a small salami stick slice that on there and some cheese slices so this uh, salami here, salami stick, may be 95 yen but I bought a bulk pack of four for 300 yen uh, the cheese I think is about 200 yen these are like a Danish pastry, but they call it a uh, sugar roll. And 
four or five of those in a pack, it was about 200 yen. Um, then the knife, possibly the most important part of the kit. This is from a, a Daiso or 100 yen store. So yeah, 100 yen for this knife, it's cool, it's a ceramic blade and it has a sheath so when I throw it in my backpack it won't stab a hole in the pack. It's the food I'm carrying with me as I go, lunches and breakfasts or whatever, snacks not very much, I also carry a bunch of water, water bottles, just fill them up. Tap water is safe to drink here in Japan, although people don't like the taste, so they generally drink bottled water. Now you can do that, it's more expensive. I don't want to pay for water. Okay, it's super, super cold. I'm cold, I'm freezing, and um, I slept in the forest last night, but I really just can't feel like doing it tonight. It's way too cold. It must be like five degrees. I've come to the next town over of Funa and I'm going to find a manga kiss to stay out tonight. And hopefully I can find one somewhere in this madness. There's lots of pachinko parlors so I should be in the right place. This is a really cool little um, town here of Funa and uh, I'm looking for somewhere to park my bike. Because I found, uh, I found three neck cafes already. One of them was looked like it had closed down. So here's one right here. Not super cheap. This one, two thousand two hundred seventy yen for twelve hour. Find a place to park the bike for cheap. So here's the parking lot here, pretty straightforward. And you push your bike into one of these bad boys. It locks it in, <coughs> and then the light turns off, like these ones. When you want to retrieve your bike, you punch in the number on the space there, that one you see, number one. <coughs> and you punch that in, and then you verify that. Put in your money, and then it, unle it unlocks it. It's pretty damn cool and uh, pretty easy so way better to pay than to get a ticket and luckily uh, you know I got a ticket today but luckily it was just a warning so from now on I'm gonna pay and uh, do it the right way all right just leaving the manga kisa here of Funa Kanagawa prefecture this is my booth that I stayed in last night yeah, so you can lie down and you have the screen and there's drinks drinks machine there, soda machine so when you check in, you pay and you get this tells you how many hours you get, I got 12 it was around about 2,200 yen so I'm checking out now and you take this, they scan it and then you can check out This one had a shower as well, very good. And you have some printing facilities and a coffee. And you can get hot water for your noodles and your food. Alright, so today I'm going to get my bike out of the car park, uh, bike park, and go back to the coast, see if I can find something to do, couch surfing or some people to meet, and I'll continue heading to Fuji.